good day, we got the train back to Lancaster to spend one last morning with my parents before they head home. We pass through Carnforth Railway Station, which is where a brief encounter was filmed. Many of the station's buildings have been restored and there's a heritage centre here too. The sun's setting behind us and uh, we keep moving so the light is not going to be ideal. No. But that's what happens when you uh, start your cruise at 6pm. Yeah, <laughs> Mid -September. sort of unplanned fashion in September. Mid-September. Mid-September. We've only got an hour of daylight left. Well no, maybe an hour and a half. Maybe two hours. Mm. We've got an hour and a half to get there. So, good. <laughs> so we were moored in Carnforth which is really nice, totally recommend it. Like the moorings don't look that nice, but actually it's a lovely place just to stop. Yeah, just don't go past, um, what's it called, Canal Turn? Yeah, the pub. Yeah, don't go past the Canal Turn pub. If you want to stop there. You'll see it in the video. I had to reverse a video. quite considerable distance. Yeah, you'll have seen it in the last video, but I had to reverse a quite considerable distance to get us back to the moorings there because past there until basically probably the end, um, although there may be some, we might pass some mark points further on, but for at least a good distance past there, there is what looks to be mooring space isn't. and isn't mooring space. And I made the mistake of not realizing how close that um, mooring was to the station. It was actually really close to the station, but when I did it on my phone, I didn't look at it properly and uh, it looked further away. So yeah. I should have just said stop here, but never mind. It was an adventure yesterday. It was definitely an adventure. So, yeah, I've been without my laptop for nearly a week now, and actually not even, not nearly a week, four days. Five days? Four days. Five days. But yeah, sorry, five days, four nights. And so I'm getting further behind with my uh, editing, and it's a little bit stressful. Um, and we could have gone to Liverpool to pick it up today, but we didn't get the phone till, call till four o'clock. Yeah. So we didn't go to Liverpool to pick it up today. No, so unfortunately, that's where this whole drive comes from. Uh, we have to make it as far as to a field today so that we can more up the night up there, have a little bit of a look around in the morning, turn around and come back through Carnforth and all the way to... Um, back to Lancaster, I think. All the way back to Lancaster? Well, we can either get the train, you can either get the train from Carnforth or Lancaster tomorrow. All right, so we got to be good one or the other. Yeah. So we could go as far as Carnforth and just say that's where we'll we'll use as the base, or we go as far as Lancaster. Yeah. Anyway, this whole bit we this was reversed yesterday. <laughs> Still going. Anyway. Oh, yeah, we're not even close to where I currently. Well, we're getting closer, but. Anyway, I don't think the sound's going to be very good by the uh, um, engine. Yeah. So. But now you understand why I'm deaf back here most of the time. And when people yell at me from the shore, hi, we like watching your videos, I hear mat, 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 mat. Um, just going under a bridge. So I'm sure it's going to be a lovely evening cruise, and fingers crossed we arrive. Fingers crossed you can see something. Oh, there we are. <laughs> and fingers crossed we uh, find a mooring before. Yeah. Darkness. Fingers crossed it's not so dark I actually get to it here. Full um, velocity. All right. Six miles an hour straight into the end of the canal. Okay, six miles an hour. Four and a half miles an hour okay. straight into the end of the canal. This is only our second ever evening cruise, but both times the views have been beautiful, which makes us wonder why we don't do it more often.
It's gorgeous up here, although the canal does run close to the M6 in a few places, so it's not quite as peaceful as it could be. As the sun gets lower in the sky, I start to get anxious about finding a mooring before it gets too dark, especially as there doesn't seem to be too many mooring spots along the towpath. Here we cross the Keir Aqueduct, so we know we're getting close to the pontoon moorings on the little cap and moor arm we've been told about. We turn down the arm to find it's pretty busy, and there isn't a spot long enough for us to moor in. So instead we have to reverse back out of the arm and continue further north as darkness descends. We're getting close to Tewitfield now, but we're losing the light fast. Fingers crossed for a decent mooring at the end. It's far too dark to film now, our cameras simply won't handle the low light. There are visitor moorings opposite the marina, but they're all too shallow, we can't get the boat in close enough. So we end up on the service point for the night. It's not ideal, but we figure that no one will be along to use it now it's dark and we can be gone first thing in the morning before anyone else turns up. For us, evening cruising is fun, but the fun stops when it gets too dark. So last night we arrived in um, Tewitt Field. In the dark. In the dark. We made it to the very end. Literally. <laughs> and we moored up on the water point because it was the only place to moor. And section of marked moorings. Opposite the marina. Yeah, opposite the marina. There's back a that huge way. section that's completely empty. 
And it's empty for a reason because it's far too shallow to possibly moor there without being close. three or four feet out. We had hoped to moor on the arm. I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, so have I. Never mind. There's an arm. There's an arm. <laughs> and we had hoped to moor there, but it was full of boats and gaps not big enough for us. Yeah, it came highly recommended because there's, there's some pontoons in there and it's supposed to be quite quiet and, and it looked really nice, but it was just chock full of boats and git gaps. So, um, so we ended up at the end. Yeah, in the in the like pitch dark. I had the tunnel light running at the last minute just so I could see nothing whatsoever. The tunnel light is useless in nighttime. The evening cruise was nice, but then obviously once sunset happened, it just got so dark. Mm. And if we'd been able to moor on the um, pontoons on the arm, it would have been fine. But <laughs> so if anybody on Patreon or on YouTube, uh, you know, we can sort of put a link down below, wants to provide me with night vision goggles. Um, <laughs> <coughs> or forward-looking infrared. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Forward-looking. Forward-looking infrared <laughs> camera type thing to put on the front of the boat. And um, Lord, does it go dark. <laughs> <laughs> and loads of, not loads of people, a few people have said, like, night cruising's great, you know, it's really good fun. Yeah, but when you're on a really deep blue boat, it just disappears. <laughs> like, so it's like, where's the canal? Where's the boat? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Can't and see either. <laughs> cruising might be okay through a, through a city where there's, like, ambient light or on a really light night where you've got moonlight. But last night wasn't one of those no. nights. <laughs> and then mooring is just not fun. Like, it's, you can't even see the mooring rings on the yeah. ground. So it's not for us. <laughs> So, that's the end of the rush up to Tuat Field, so thank you very much for watching. Oh, I forgot remember something else we need to say. That's not the end of the rush up to Tuat Field. <laughs> this is another silver propeller. Ah, yes. We have captured the 18th? I think so, yeah. This is our 18th silver propeller uh, location, so yay. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Yeah, so the next one's in Liverpool itself, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have 19 there, and then we're not really sure where 20 is, but it's a ways off. <laughs> so, thanks for watching this rush up to two at field video. Um, not sure how much will show up of the actual, you know, descent into darkness, but hey. Uh, I couldn't, I was trying to film you coming onto those moorings, and oh, I, you were just going out of focus, it was too dark. Yeah, yeah, so... <laughs> So the video might just sort of fade to black, <laughs> and then we pop up, and we're like, hey, how's it going? Um, yeah, because it, it got really dark. But anyway, thanks for watching the Rush to Do It Field video. Hopefully it wasn't just, you know, 30 minutes of complete darkness at the end there. And um, give us a thumbs up if it wasn't. Comment down below if it was. Hit the subscription button. Um, most of them aren't this dark. And click the notifications bell if you want to get notifications. Okay.